Cole, you're just, uh, you're the most fun, loving, easy guy. Um, anytime everybody, anybody new meets you, my friends or relatives or anybody, they always leave saying, God damn, what a good guy that is. You know? <laughs> and that, that's, what, that's the impression you leave upon people. You're just, uh, you're a fantastic soul. We see now, Michelle, what you were waiting for. You were not settling for anyone but the best guy for you, and that is Cole. Uh, it makes our hearts really happy, Michelle, to know that you have found someone that loves and cares for you just as much as we do. What more could a parent ask for? You will have a beautiful life together. Cole, from the moment I met you, you surprised me captivated me and distracted me and you've challenged me in a way that no person ever has. Michelle, I'm so glad you came into my life. I was so nervous and excited when I first met you. Hot and cold all at once. Now I get to fall in love with you every day over and over. I promise to choose you every day and to do the hard work of making now into always. To laugh with you, cry with you, and to grow with you. Without you, I am not my full self. I vow to encourage you trust you, respect you, and honor you. Sometimes I might even let you be right. <laughs> I will always love you even knowing some of your faults. Like not knowing how to load the dishwasher. Because I know you'll love me through mine. Like staying out maybe a little too late sometimes with the boys. <laughs> I promise to frustrate you and to push you to meet all the expectations that you have for yourself and to never let you give up on any dream you have. I promise to be true to you, uplift and support you, and to slow down to take in all the beautiful moments that life has for us. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our life is simple and when it's an effort, and to hold on to you every chance I get. Your heart is my home. I promise to try and make sure I'm not hungry before I get upset, and I won't make you go to Disney World for every vacation. I promise to try new experiences and never stop exploring. I vow to put our happiness as a couple as a priority above all else. I love you. And I love you. All, all the, the days, days of, of my, my life. life. have three more brothers, three sisters, five nieces, five nephews, Albert and I, and oh yes, then there's Cole. <laughs> <laughs> this one here, who did that one? I did. Same guy did this one. Really? I feel like he's trying to sound oh, like so. <laughs> I tried to take it. <laughs> As most of you know, that know Cole, he's uh, pretty big into volunteering and uh, giving back. You know, it's always like, hey Cole, you want to come out and drink beer? No, another shift at the soup kitchen. <laughs> Can't do her. Can't do her. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. The material oh, yeah, between yeah. that and then you clamp it down with that one. Hey, thanks. Oh, yeah. Hey Cole, want to come out? Maybe we go for a round of golf? No, nope, at the animal shelter. Can't do it. Can't do it. So she's trying, she's trying to eat breakfast, and she looks at me and she says, oh, I'm sorry, it's just so hard. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just so hard when Cole leaves. And then she follows up with, I'm such an ugly crier. But aside from that, it, it really made me think about how much, how hard it was for her to, to leave Cole at the airport so he could take off for 28 days, do a shift and come back. I knew at that point that Cole had found that special gal. Yeah. Okay, I am Our family has grown and we hope it will only get bigger. 
a granddaughter, grandson, or three or four. <laughs> Welcome to our family. Yes, Paul, you're not going to be just my son-in-law, you're going to be my good friend, and you are already. Um, you know, as a dad, you just don't give your daughters away that easy, it's just not uh, the easiest thing, and it's, this has been okay. You're, I, I've, <laughs> I'm feeling good about where this is going, and, uh, but uh, please take care of our precious cargo. Thank you. When they first started dating, Michelle often told Cole she was out having drinks with her friends. Time after time, she would tell him this on the weekends to try to impress him when we'd be sitting watching Netflix on the sectional with Gus. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say you guys bring out the best in everybody that surrounds you. It's a very special trait to have, and it's very rare to find that exact same traits in your significant other. So never lose this outlook on life. It's what everybody loves about you guys. And it's why you always have so many friends and family around you that want nothing more than just to spend time with you guys. This is direct indication and in self how special and wonderful people you are. And that's why Jessica and myself are so lucky to be able to call you guys our best friends. I, Nora Jacobs, a marriage commissioner, by virtue of the powers vested in me by the Marriage Act of Saskatchewan, do hereby pronounce you, Cole, and Michelle, to be husband and wife. Now you may kiss the bride. May your love be modern enough to survive the times, but old-fashioned enough to last forever. Cheers, guys. To Michelle and Cole. Nick Bowie and any single lady out there. <laughs> anybody, 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 anybody. Does anybody have a pet? Does anybody have a dog? Is there any cats? Anything, anything. I uh, might have one in the back. Nick, start heading that way, buddy. Looks like we got one. Looks like we got one, Nick. Let's go. Come on, Nick. let's go, Nick. No, don't chug your drink. You don't need that much courage. She's good looking. She's good looking. There we go, Nick. Hey. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. There's a real life episode of The Bachelorette here. Here we go. Come on, meet him in the middle. Meet him in the middle. Come on, hey. Just like an arranged marriage, here we go.